What should we do with carried interest, Governor? I mean, would Bain have been less successful, do you think, if, if, if there weren't those, uh, those inducements or, or, or benefits from carried interest? It, it's such a, a, you know, an inflammatory issue. I just wonder whether uh, it, it's essential to, to, to maintain that business, the private equity business. It's one of our bright spots in this country. Uh, it, but is it necessary to keep carried interest with the optics that it has? Well, I, th I think you have to look at each um, uh, dimension of our uh, of our income streams and ask: Is is this a true capital gain or is it ordinary income? And and you look to uh, uh, either the courts or to the IRS uh, to look at the at the various structures of of investment vehicles and say: Gosh, is is this is this a true uh, capital investment with the risk of loss, mm -hmm. uh, or is it instead ordinary income with uh, with no particular risk of loss? Uh, if it's ordinary income, you should treat it as ordinary income. If it's capital gain, you should treat it as capital gain. I, I don't believe that, that it's Congress's job or an administration's job to go through and say, hey, these people here are making too much money. Let's change their tax rate uh, to, uh, uh, to make them less, uh, less able to, uh, to be financially successful. I think you do, however, have to apply the code in a, uh, a consistent way across the board. And, and, uh, and that's probably something we should take a close look at to see are we treating capital gains as capital gains or are we treating, in some cases, uh, a carried interest as capital gains when it's more like ordinary income? Governor, thanks for, uh, for coming on Squawk Box this morning uh, after uh, the big night last night. We appreciate it. Thanks. Good to be with you. Okay, well.